early April is the time to get snap beans planted in Oklahoma. And I have two varieties that I'm putting out here in our raised bed. One is Derby, and Derby is an All-America Selection winner for 1990. And we think it's going to be a real winner. It sets the, the beans very uniformly. It's disease resistant. We think it'll be a good one. We have another one that was sent to us by Park Seed Company to try, and it's called Venture. We're planting these side by side in a raised bed. I've already treated these seed with garden inoculant. Remember, you need to do that. That's a beneficial rhizobium bacteria, and that will help them to start fixing nitrogen more quickly and give you a higher yield. In fact, research shows you can get about a 30% higher yield. I'm sowing these fairly thickly. Because we tape Oklahoma gardening ahead of time, it's a little cooler, and I want to make sure I get a good stand. If you're growing snap beans, make sure that you sow into a well-drained soil so that you don't have seedling rot. Also, make sure that you don't pack the soil over the top very hard because when beans come through, even though it's a large seed and fairly strong, they have a hard time cracking the soil surface if it's compacted and the young bean seedling can break off. And so if you have a soil that tends to compact, work in plenty of organic matter to it. Also, try to put a little bit of compost over the top or grass clippings and that will help also. Another tip, if you're planting beans, is plant them in two double rows to save space in your garden. Now it's about ready to rain here, and so I think we'll have plenty of moisture, and that will help settle the soil around these beans as well. Now in this soil, we worked in two inches of manure last year, and so it's crumbly, has a nice texture. I think it's gonna work out real well for us. So those ought to be up in about a week to 10 days, and we'll follow them through the season and see how they do. Well, we've done a lot of talking about walls of water this spring. Just wanted you to know that here in Stillwater, out in our garden, it got down to about 27 degrees last week. The water in these turned to ice, but the tomatoes inside are perfectly healthy and green. They have been protected, they've done just fine. If you're trying these this spring, hope you've had similar success. One more thing I want to mention while we're here at our raised bed garden is that having put on two inches of manure for our organic matter source last fall, when I was working this up a few minutes ago to plant these beans, I noticed with every shovel full or every time I turned over the soil with a fork, I had several earthworms and that's always a good sign of a healthy garden soil. If you don't have a lot of earthworms in your garden when you turn over the soil, Probably that's a, a signal that you need to add more, more organic matter, whether it's compost or manure or something to help encourage a healthy soil, a healthy animal life in the soil. Because remember those earthworms help enrich the soil. They also help to aerate it. So that's an important sign of a healthy garden soil. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.